Welcome to the from MLT Department of Science and Technology. Today we are going to discuss our molecular biology topic proteome. So without wasting our time, let us move toward this presentation. In this lecture, we are going to study introduction of proteome, definition, proteomics, types of proteomics, structure of protein, techniques that are used in proteomics and then application of proteomics. So in introduction of proteomics, proteome is basically a modern technique that is used to study proteins. Basically this word proteome comes in combination by two words that is protein and this genome. Protein and genome collectively form proteome in 1994 by Mark Wilkins. In definition of proteome, we can say that total protein content in a cell at a given time at a particular environmental condition is known as proteome. So in some specific situation at a specific time the total protein component of a cell is known as proteome. So what is proteomics? Proteomics is basically the study of proteome and it is a large scale study of proteins and in proteomics we study how proteins are modified when and where they are expressed how they are involved in metabolic processes how they interact with each other now the most important point is that the proteome is larger than a genome why the reason is that in proteomics there is a large diversity why diversity this diversity is due to the alternative splicing or we can say post transcription modifications that after transcription there are some changing in the product that can diversify the product so due to this reason there is a proteome the proteome is larger than the genome so here is a concept of protein proteome uh, the study of dna is known as genome the study of rna is known as transcriptome and then protein that is formed through messenger rna and that messenger rna formed through dna through a uh, transcription process is known as proteome so here is the basically flow diagram that show where protein comes from so why we study proteomics that have already discussed because we have no idea of the product of the gene product so to study the possibility of gene expression we study proteomics to study protein structure function we study proteomics to study post transcription modifications like phosphorylation ubiquitination we study uh, all about proteomics so proteomics is complicated than genomics why i have discussed recently so protein expression uh, protein expression is the formation of protein uh, that may be in vivo or in vitro in vivo mean in the body and in vitro mean in the laboratory in vivo we have discussed that dna from messenger rna through process transcription and then messenger rna to protein that is translation and in vitro in laboratory we uh, synthesize protein through a recombinant dna technology we use a bacteria uh, the plasmid of a bacteria and then isolate the gene of interest and insert in this plasmid and culture and provide this cell a optimum temperature and optimum environment then after its growth the um, protein that we have inserted the protein of interest also grows and then uh, in the last steps we eliminate the protein of interest from this uh, from this uh, plasmid so this has uh, this has have been discussed in the last slides uh, from where protein comes from dna dna to rna rna to protein protein to metabolites so uh, this was all about uh, proteomics 
and types of proteomics next is the types of proteomics there are four most important types of proteomics these are structural proteomics functional proteomics expression proteomics and proteomic mining as the name indicate in structural proteomics we study the three dimensional structure of protein complexes and in functional proteomics we study the functions of protein in expression proteomics we study the comparison between two samples uh, and we detect the disease in a one sample by comparison with other for example in tumor studies we study we apply this technique so the fourth type of uh, proteome is the proteome mining proteome mining is basically drug targeting on a specific point of protein uh, we can say that it involves isolating hundreds of enzymes and mass screening of potential drugs new drugs of new drugs to treat disease can be rapidly identified and progressed in animal testing so proteome mining is basically uh, we detect we target a specific point on all the gene on, on all the protein we target a specific point through this proteome mining next is why we study protein because protein is the most important com component in our body in our uh, muscles in our hormones in that is our antibodies uh, that provide protection that transport oxygen in the form of hemoglobin and all the enzymes are protein the all the um, spiders uh, spider uh, the spider net is always protein and the re receptors are are made up of protein so that's why protein is the most important component and we study protein now the structure of protein is made up of basically four patterns primary structure secondary structure tertiary and quaternary basically primary structure is a sequence of amino acid in a polypeptide chain here we can see that it is a linear chain and secondary structure is the coiling of this primary structure in the two form alpha helix uh, as you can see here and beta helix beta sheet sorry so there are two forms of secondary structure alpha helix and beta sheet and uh, when secondary structure uh, combine it form a tertiary structure and tertiary structure is basically 3d shape of points and when different tertiary structure combine they form a quaternary structure here you can see that this is a primary and then secondary and then tertiary and then quaternary structure of protein now what are the techniques that are used in proteome proteomes in there are two types of technique low throughput techniques and high throughput techniques low throughput te techniques are basically antibody antibody based method gel based and chromatography while high throughput techniques are microarrays mass spectrometry let us discuss each uh, now the antibody based method that is low throughput technique is basically in this technique we use elisa and different types of elisa and different types of western blotting etc to detect a specific protein in our sample of interest and in gel based method we uh, we have um, we see different bands that are on the basis of their shape and charge in a gel medium uh, by the by uh, joining with electricity and electricity through electricity this is the migration of uh, different components of protein this is chromatography chromatography based method in this also in this method uh, in this method a sample of interest is placed and then the different uh, parts of the sample are distributed on the basis of their on the basis of their uh, molecular weight etc micro or uh, a micro array is basically a technique in which we uh, put a sample of interest on a immobilized medium immobilized gel you can say and chip uh, through which we detect uh, it active and inactive genes and detect our different types of protein so different diseases are also detected by these techniques uh, last is a mass spectrometry mass spectrometry is basically proteins are firstly ionized in this and then the ionized uh, proteins are accelerated and then move through a um, specific magnetic material um, magnetic field sorry that uh, measure the and at the last there is a detector that measure a specific current that that is fed by that molecule and this and this tandem mass spectrometer is specifically designed that also determine the peptide sequence 
the amino acid sequence of the proteins uh, that are analyzed here so how data is analyzed in proteomics the some proteomics tools there is bioinformatics tools that are used in proteomics and these are comet delta mass etc so there are applications of proteomics these applications are disease diagnosis pharmaco proteomics agriculture food pro, food science and paleo proteomics in disease diagnosis by using elisa ms west blast west blotting and uh, many many other techniques we can for we can simply mm, compare the two samples and uh, diagnose a specific disease in pharmacoproteomics by using proteomic milding we can target a specific protein pro protein in whole the proteome and discover new drugs in agriculture we can investigate plant pathogen interaction and food science we can increase the quality of food and paleo proteins is basically we can uh, relate the evolution or geological uh, understanding with the, this proteome so this was all about proteome thank you so much for watching uh, take care bye bye allah face